Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So there's probably about two main parts of information you, you want to know about in regards to the fundamentals. One is Japan has now gone to negative interest rates, uh, which has not had the impact on the Japanese yen that Kuroda might have possibly wanted because the yen's actually just ended up increasing in strength in the back of that. And the second part is the fact that Iran is not looking to cut its production anytime soon. They pretty much come out and said that until we get our, our, our production and our economy back on track, uh, we're not in any position to make any uh, kind of production um, halts or production cuts or anything else like that. So oil prices have taken a bit of a tumble. They were about 37 yesterday, they've gone down to about 35 now. Um, and uh, there's big question marks over what, what's going to happen kind of going forward because if Iran now is basically saying, look, and I think everybody understands, we are just coming out of sanctions. We want to make as much money as we can. We're not just going to go ahead and just uh, put any cap on our, our production. We've got lots and lots of oil to sell, lots and lots of people who want to go ahead and buy it and we don't want to be restricted in the back of that. And that's hardly surprising. Uh, but the markets have taken that to be uh, a little bit of a knock. Uh, but nevertheless, it's, a, it's an interesting situation to be in. So back onto Japan, Mario Draghi, of course, has already taken um, the euro into negative rates before, not really had the impact that he initially expected. Now, Kuroda has surprised the markets and also come out with negative rates over there as well. And there is this, this element for both Europe and for Japan Let's wait and see what happens. So um, let's go ahead and wait and see. But um, dollar yen, when we have a look at it from a charting perspective, it was in a triangle formation. I think it's kind of, it is moving lower right now, but it's consolidating around the base of the triangle area. But we'll go ahead and have a look at that in, uh, in a second as well. The DAX, uh, Germany 30 managed to break 10,000 yesterday as well. So it's a psychological round number. And one last piece, uh, I think there's outflows and inflows into US equities. So share buybacks for American companies on the S&P 500 I think um, US companies are looking to buy back $140 billion worth of stocks, uh, whereas UK, uh, US retail private investors are taking out $40 billion. So that's one of the biggest divergences that we've actually seen uh, between retail and, uh, and, and firms for quite some time, and perhaps that's quite telling. But the US 30 is still moving along quite nicely, but we'll go ahead and have a look at things from a technical perspective right now. Okay, so this is where we are with the US 30. Uh, we had a bit of a doji formation there yesterday, uh, a bearish engulfing pattern currently, but it's only just because the doji is so small. Still massively overbought in the slow stochastic, 80% of CMC market clients are currently short. This is what the kind of picture looks like in the kind of a longer time period, um, where we had this period of consolidation, a sell-off, a move up, a sell-off, and we might be in, the, in, in a bit of a, of, a, of a flux right now as well. Um, 17,037 still remains a potential support with a longer term potential resistance being at 18,367. But arguably, arguably you'd be looking around about the tips of these candles around about 17,900 and change uh, as, a, as a next potential level as well. But longer term potential resistance, 18,367. Moving on to uh, the UK 100. Uh, we had a failure to break these tips of these candles there. The, these levels here are going to be quite interesting over the, the next number of sessions. That's 6,200 and change. Uh, we're on the back foot this morning, but uh, we're still looking okay. CMC clients, 52% long, 60, 70 is a potential support. And you've got that 21 period SMA just slowly just ticking its head above there just now as well. You do have a sell signal on the slow stochastic and you almost have a negative crossover on the MACD. So there's a little bit of pressure on the UK 100 right now. Then moving on to Japan, 225, bearish engulfing pattern, obviously, back of that yen strength and negative rates in, uh, in Japan. And the impact of those negative rates on the banking sector within that area is something to be uh, considered. Um, I think banks have seen a lot of their profitability being eroded away by negative rates for some time. 62% of CMC markets clients are currently short. Uh, you are looking at 16,896 as a potential support level, which would also coincide with that 55 period SMA. Moving on to dollar yen, and uh, it's actually, there was a double bottom right there, but uh, I don't think it's, uh, it's really uh, progressing as nice as we would like. Uh, we arguably are looking at this uh, pattern right here. Ba -ba -boom. Let's get my trend line, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna take the tip of this candle here and just get right to here. So we could be in a symmetrical triangle formation. 
um, in which case this, this move that we've seen today uh, will be interesting to see if we get a break lower back down to uh, 111 spots 61. We're trading below that 21 period SMA uh, and also these uh, two resistance and support level right here breaks down below the SMA and breaks through that potential trend line. You could be looking at a move towards that next potential support, but arguably you could also be looking at the uh, at the tips of these two candles right here as being the next potential support. Like this one here uh, is okay. This potential support must be from some time ago. Let's have a quick look. Back onto the weekly. Oh, it's from a long time ago. So um, I think you would be taking the tips of those two candles in the daily as, uh, as, as probably being something to have a look at, just because we, ha we have traded below it. Uh, we've not closed below this level for, for, for a little while, but uh, you could be looking at 111 and then followed by the tips of these candles. And that's actually pretty much bang on 111 spot zero, zero. So then moving on to crude oil, West Texas, 69% uh, of CMC markets clients are currently short. Uh, that move yesterday is bringing us a bit closer to potential support at 35 spot 13. Uh, trend is still largely intact. Failure to break uh, above uh, looks to be 38 and change. Uh, did we actually get above there? On We did 38 spot 001, um, but we failed to rechallenge $40. So that kind of gives you a bit of an idea of where we are. So we're seeing a bit of a retreat back down. 35 13 is that next potential support level to be aware of. Moving on to gold, uh, gold's kind of reversing around a little bit more hard now, breaking through potential support, breaking through 21 period SMA. Other technicals looking a little bit rough at the moment. Where we are right now, uh, 1,191 could be the next potential support level to be aware of. And then finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar still hugging one spot 11. Uh, this looks to be a strategic level in the short term, potentially strategic level in the short term. Uh, and depending on your views, you're either going to get a technical break below 1 spot 11 for a move back down towards 1 spot 08, or should this uh, area continue to consolidate and, and uh, remain unbroken with a close below it, then you could end up seeing a move back up towards 1 spot 1489. Uh, but at the moment, you've got a high and then you've got a lower high. It could be making a pattern of lower highs where it might have this kind of wave formation where you might end up getting a move moving a little bit lower, then they move back higher, move back lower, then move back higher, all the way back down. But it all depends on what Mario Draghi does and the macro data coming out of the Eurozone. So then finishing up with GBP USD, bit of a reversal yesterday, a bit lower today. 93% of CMC Markets clients are currently short. One spot, 42.28 is the potential support level. And today is the first day of the uh, FOMC, finishes tomorrow. Let's have a quick look at the market calendar. Uh, we've got retail sales due later on today in the US uh, and then obviously you've got the FOMC tomorrow, petroleum uh, uh, output, you've got industrial production, housing starts and CPI, uh, that's, on, that's tomorrow, so quite a big day tomorrow and then Thursday you've got CPI, the Bank of England interest rate announcements and employment claims in the US and then finishing up the Friday, you've got the uh, Consumer Sentiment Survey, University of Michigan to look forward to as well. Well, that's it from me, guys. Very good luck with your trading and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.